hopefully I'm streaming. I'm just, uh, just checking. How do I check? I think I have to wait about 30 seconds. So, uh, right, panic, because that kind of started just as, a, ah, I'm not ready. Whoa, what do I do? <laughs> okay, I'll be, I'll be right with you. <laughs> so yes, what am I doing today? Today I am sculpting, sort of. <laughs> okay. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Ah, gosh. Right, I'm nearly there, nearly there, almost ready to start. So yes, what am I doing today? Ah, oh, gosh. Today, right. Well, I good news is the sound sculpting. works. Sculpting, <laughs> sort of. Hey, <laughs> what? Stop. There. Okay, almost ready. So we begin the show in five, four. Oh, how professional. Hi, I'm Becky Rose Dungeon Girl, and today I am sculpting. I'm going to sculpt, uh, well, not this, obviously, because that's sculpted, but this is the floor from a dungeon I am making. Uh, these, these are both floor pieces from that. And uh, what I'm going to do, this is a dungeon from Secret Weapon Miniatures, who uh, do it. I think they call it Temple of the Sun or something. It's really hard to find on their website. Anyway, I've already done some custom pieces, which are these here. Uh, this, is, this is the original, so it doesn't have the water. And then, as you see, I've, I've made it so that the water spills out onto the tile in front. And then when that's painted up, that should look, well, hopefully quite cool. Uh, see, one of the things with these ones, the way they come, they have a solid in this gap here. Can you see that? And I'm just going to open that up like this one here so that you can see through that gap because that's supposed to be part of the water coming down and uh, I only just realized I hadn't cleaned this one up yet anyway that's that done so the goal uh, here is to make some more floors because I have some floors but I don't have enough so what I've done is I've bought bags of skulls I've got about five of these bags and um, there's about 50 in each so uh, what I've done is I've set up these are just some leftover pieces from my uh, Egyptian tomb build from about a year ago and the floor pieces here are about the same height as the secret weapon miniature ones so what I want to do is I want to I want to create some skull tiles so if I just put that there we see, because the bricks are twice the height of the floor, we see that that is a snug fit across the top. So, the base here, the floor tiles are serving as, as my base for doing this. And then what I want to do is I want to pour skulls in to create a, a floor of skulls. So, first thing is to just pour them in and see if that fills the area. And the answer is no. Okay. So, how many bags would it take to do a two by two tile? jig okay so I'm gonna get these guys in there so I think the answer is three bags because that's still got some gaps uh, oh that one needs trimming ah come back all oh, these are tiny right so I don't really want to use three bags on one floor piece. So the other thing I've got is I have somewhere over here, I have some human skeletons. I've got two bags of those and there's two in each. And I've got an oxen skeleton. So much bigger pieces. 
and I'm going to use some of these bits to fill up some space, you see. Because, you know, it's just animal pieces, right? And at the moment, this isn't, this isn't the bit we're actually making. I'm just making sure I'm getting the right kind of quantity of pieces in there. And that they're, you know, so, so that when we actually make it, we're not in a panic. Because so often when I do this stuff, I end up in a panic. And I want to try and plan first. It's going to be the new me, the new me plan stuff. Instead of getting all, ah, panic. So just cleaning up this rib cage. Ah. Okay. Oh, I have an audience. Hello. Hello, people. I see there's a couple of you watching right now. Welcome. So uh, feel free to chat if you can find the chat box on whatever screen you're watching on. I'm just trying to clean up this little oxen -y thing at the moment because it's got bits of flashing on. There we go. Right, let's try and get that back. And then what I will do with these, although I haven't actually got enough silicon to do it, unfortunately, I ran out, but uh, is I shall make a mould and then duplicate it a number of times so that I'm not, you know, so this is the master we're making here. So I'll get that piece in there as well. Bones and stuff. So, by how many bags of skulls this is taking, I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to make as many of these as I hoped, which is a shame. Skull needs cleaning. Hello. Draw rough. Uh, welcome to the chat. You found the chat. Yay! First person, first commenter. Uh, you don't win anything, um, but you do get to see me mess this up. I'm sure it's not going to go right. Nothing ever does for me. So, um, the queen of fail. So there we go. Just cleaning up. It's uh, it's not the femur, is it? Tibia, I think is. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, a foreleg, a back leg, and other bits and stuff. So just get this cleaned up, chucked in. Ah, we might be able to remove some skulls from that now. So I think what I'll do is I'll do a two by two piece. I'll do a one by one piece that's just skulls. And um, well, then we'll see what we've got left over after that. Okay, does it feel wrong to have all of those bone bits on one floor tile? I don't know. Let's get those bits out of the way. Right, so what we'll do is we'll chuck it back in the bag. Get ready to actually pour it live. So when we pour it live, I'm going to get the old glue gun out. Oh, I better switch that on. Right, so all the bits that are going to go in, I'll take the animal stuff to one side, because that's quite large, so I'm just going to place that. And then I'm going to saturate the bricks with glue, pour the skulls over, and then, um, and then remove the jig. And hopefully... <laughs> Uh, touch plaster. Hopefully <laughs> that'll work. I have no idea. Not tried this before. It's all experimental. But in theory, I shall get an Acropolis floor. And then later on, when I've got some silicon, I make a mold, duplicate it loads of time in resin. And we should have quite a large area covered in skulls that should hopefully cover the cost of the fact that I bought <laughs> a gazillion skulls and with a bit of luck 
Um, hopefully, and I, I'm kind of less hopeful on this, hopefully I'll be able to recover the skulls from the glue after the mould's made and, uh, and use them for something else. I'd like to do some skull piles and stuff. Only I think I'm going to run way short of skulls before I get that far, unfortunately. There's uh, less in them than I'd hoped. Or they, you know, they don't go as far as I, as, as I hoped they would. Right. Let's get my jig laid out again. This could be an expensive mistake. We shall see. I'm going to prop up this big animal skull so that it sticks out of the skulls. Or the bed of skulls. There, like that. Oh, should I do the glue first? Oh, I don't know. There's not really an instruction manual when you're making it up as you go along. Right, let's do the glue. Come on, faster, faster. Oh, it's not going to stay hot enough for long enough, is it? It's going to lose its tackiness. Ah, fuck, now I've done it. Oh, bollocks, things have gone wrong. <laughs> that wasn't a great start. No, don't glue the tile. Ah, smeg. Right, I'm just going to remove that. Right. My glue gun does not get hot enough to cover a large enough area quick enough. So... What that could mean is that I'm going to have to use a different glue. Uh, or I could tell you what, I'm going to start by doing a single tile piece. Let's do that first. Let's not get too ambitious straight away. So I'll do, I'll have the animal skull and a few skulls and we'll see how that goes. Let's get that glue off. Okay. Attempt number two. Ah! Loads came out. Right. Push, 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 push. Right, now, some of them will come off. Uh, so we'll just let the glue dry. And then we'll remove the jig and we'll see what happens. Just going to pick up some of my other skulls while I'm at it. I think most of this video is going to be me removing skulls. Yeah, PVA is a good call, actually, Drawer. I, I might go try that if this doesn't work. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, I was thinking that or possibly wood glue. Got some Gorilla wood glue, and I think that might work quite well with this. Although it will probably stick the plaster together. Whereas PVA probably wouldn't, I guess. So, right. Let's see how that's dried. Okay, Ooh, skulls everywhere. Right. Uh, can't say I'm entirely happy with that. Oh, dropping skulls. Right. That looks more like a skull pile on the floor than a floor itself, if you see what I mean. I'll just take away the obviously loose ones. Yeah, um, that's, that's a disappointment. Right, let's get them out of the way. Just breaking out the skulls again so that I can reuse them. I'm going to be finding skulls in this room for weeks. Uh, so, hello Trenton. 
the necropolis yeah this is uh well it's a city of the dead right that that's a necropolis um i'm building this because i had a request a while ago to do an encounter ideas video in a necropolis and i thought well that sounds cool but i've got to build a necropolis so i'm building it um i'm afraid off the top of my head i don't remember who it was um but uh, yeah, somebody requested it in one of my previous Encounter Ideas videos, so I thought I'd have a go. Uh, right, so I'm just going to collect up these skulls. If the glue gun didn't work, I'm going to switch that off. And I'm going to grab the PVA once I've tidied up some of these skulls, because they've kind of gone everywhere. So this is going to be mostly a video of picking up skulls. <laughs> ah, total disaster. Right. Oh. I'm sure there'll be some more skulls on the floor that later that I'll pick up. Right, I'm going to get my PVA, which I think is downstairs. So I should be one second. Yes, here it is. So I think one of the things uh, that's going to be necessary here is I'm probably going to have to do two layers of skulls. Where are my paintbrushes? lost my entire paintbrush collection um that's going to be harder to use pva without a brush uh, ah somewhere in here gotcha okay right there's my PVA brush. Okay. Let's, uh, let's not be too over ambitious again. I'm just going to go for the single tile. PVA. Let's go. Oh, smeg. I keep breaking my jig. Oh. <laughs> Finding skulls everywhere. So I'm probably going to have to do two layers of skulls. And um, that kind of bothers me because I don't have much depth to play with before because these these are really thin these floors on this necropolis um much thinner than say dwarven forge dungeon tiles or um or some miniature uh and substantially thinner than than dunkelstadt so uh now that's going to leak through isn't it ah oh, never mind Yeah. <laughs> yep. Told you things always go wrong for me. <laughs> Especially when filming. Okay, do I have a cloth? Yes. All the way over here. Right. So we'll try layer one of skulls. And then what we'll do when that dries and being PVA that's going to take blinking forever uh, I'll shake it off and then I'll probably have to do a second layer now it looks to me 
like I can get away with a second layer on top of here and it's still going to be to the same kind of roughly the same height as that so that's good news right let's set up another jig get more of these Egyptian pieces out oh I should uh Oh, was that a bad idea? Probably. I was thinking I should probably remove the jig so that things don't stick to it, but of course that does pretty much defeat the purpose of having a jig at that point, doesn't it? Oh, smeg. I'm learning as I go. <laughs> uh, go on, go in. There we go. If they stick, I'll have to break them off later. Right. This one appears to have got rather a lot of glue stuck to it. In fact, it needs tidying up anyway. There we go. So, I don't know how much of this you can see on the stream, because it's a very small area, but... That is a um, a single square of skulls. So what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try doing two square of skulls. And I'm going to try putting some of this ox skeleton in there. Some of these old tiles have uneven bottoms, so I've got to be selective about which ones I use. There we go. Okay, let's get shindiggity with the PVA. I'm pretty worried that I'm I'm pretty sure in fact that the um these side pieces are gonna stick. The PVA is gonna stick them into place. I'm just hoping that I can break them off. And I guess we'll find out that tomorrow. Now the PVA probably won't stick that, but if I put it in place, then um, I can super glue it later. Right, let's get a few more skulls in there, I think. Uh, the other bits, these these are just floor tiles from the um, from the Acropolis dungeon set. 
Uh, if you have a look on my Facebook page, Trenton, you'll see a picture I posted earlier of the casting of the dungeon in progress. Um, it's it's all from pieces from Secret Weapon. Uh, I think they call it the Temple of the Sun or something. Uh, I've, I've knocked up some moulds and then started customising. So this is my water fountain. Um, it's got the, obviously it's not painted yet but so the water is pouring out of the snake like head there and comes down and forms a puddle onto whatever floor piece is there um, so that bit's already done and now it's just a case of creating some new floors just to um, uh, you know to, to uh, well give it some more variety and and also because if I tried to cast these um, if I make a mould of that and try to cast it, the problem I'll have is because that's very thin, the resin won't have an exothermic reaction, which means it won't generate any heat as it's curing. And because it's the middle of winter here, uh, it's quite cold out. So uh, whilst I have got a few of these casting up, they will take hours, days even, to cure each set. So um, I'm, I'm that's why I'm hoping to, to make more of the floor. Uh, so, um, you know, just so I've got more moulds with more variety. Because if I make more moulds, I'd hate to have identical matching, you know, three copies of a particular floor mould. I'd rather have uh, some variety. So I thought I'd make some. Uh, so I, I, that's why I, I bought these skulls. So there's a few loose ones there on top. I'll just shake them off later, I think. It gives us a rough idea of where it's going. I uh, quite like the, the big bones in here now. Let me get the camera ring close so you can see it. It's going to shake around a bit, I'm afraid. Uh, quite a lot as I try and hook it over the tripod. Okay. Right, so that's what we've currently got in the bigger piece. So these, these large skeletal pieces, I, I really do like the, uh, the way they're sitting in there. Um, in amongst the, the pile of skulls. And there's a close-up of that first one. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to try and mount that back. Oh. Okay. So. Um, so I've got a few more large pieces here. So I think I'll do another two-by-two two piece. PVA. And I've got some human skeleton bits to put in here too as well, so I'd like to get some of them in. So I think this one is just going to be a variant of the 2x2 two two size. And then after that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a skull pile. With various other bones sticking out of it and stuff. I have to figure out how we're going to do that. I have a feeling it might be back to the hot glue and make the base pile with that. Uh, but we shall see. Let's focus on getting this done first. Okay. Right, actually, that's just in the way of the PVA pot. Let's just bring that over. Ah. Okay. Oh, I'm ending up in a mess here. Do 
actually, I think before I put the glue down, I'm going to prepare one of the human skeletons because I'd like some of the human bones sticking out of this one as well. So I've got a couple of human skeletons here. Way. Okay, it's interesting. The pelvis can go either way, but the rib cage is kind of limited. I think, ah, oh, no, don't lose it. <laughs> Come back, all is forgiven. Right, there we go. Actually, I don't know. No, maybe we can get. I think as long as as long as the top and bottom isn't showing, because then it kind of shows that it's a thicker than a real rib cage is, and I think it's kind of okay. So just reading up on your chats now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was actually it was more. It, it, originally, I broke this as I pulled it out of the mold, and that's what inspired to then say, "Well, I know how I can fix that." Um, but I, I do like to customize bits. Uh, I generally I start off doing them. I, I would never customize a an original piece. I hate that. I can't bring myself to do it. But if I've made it myself, then I, I'm okay to customize it. So I do the first molds. Uh, particularly in, in winter, it, it's so hard to to keep moisture out of the mold. Um, once once you get casting, you're generally okay, and you can you can continue to keep casting and everything's fine but on the first cast or two there can be a bit of moisture in the mold and that results in the resin never properly curing so you get this uh gooey type resin it's horrible horrible stuff is that clavicle no that's a clavicle this is a leg bone okay um so you get this this gooey kind of resin which you just have to chop off i mean it's just horrible toxic stuff so once you chop that off then of course you've got a broken piece so you're like well do you throw it away or do you do something with it and i like to do stuff with it um which is why if you look at my gray dungeon if you see that in any of my videos you'll see that there's some corner sections there that look like they're ruined wall uh, it's almost like a cutaway dungeon um and that's where i you know i i, I had the first the first cast basically it's a bit of moisture in the mold right one more arm bone to get okay again i'm not expecting the pewter to stick but i figure if i place it then um then i can super glue it in later once i've made the space for it that's that's my rough plan not that my plans ever seem to work first go, so we'll worry about the details later. Okay, and again, I'll, I'll close up after I've got this bit poured. It's going to be much the same process as the last one once I've got these pieces prepped. That's the last one there. Right, so I'm going to douse it with PVA again. floating around there and something's obviously 
a bit of dried up PVA maybe or some alien object that's got in there. Right, let's give that a go. So we'll dump big bone, some little bones, put some skulls in. So before trying this yourself, what you should do is um, you should come back to my channel afterwards, uh, see the next couple of videos and make sure it worked, because <laughs> it might not. Okay, let's spread these skulls out. Okay, how many more skulls have I got? Oh. Okay, this is it. That. Really? I used all five bags. Have I really? Ah, smeg. Um. Okay. <laughs> right. Curses. Right, okay. Hmm. Uh. Right, I need to buy skulls in larger quantities. Okay, now some of these are just so obviously loose. I can just pull them out now. The next one's down. Right, now what I'm going to do, I've got some tweezers here somewhere. Somewhere, there they are. And I'm going to lift out those bones so that they're visible over the skulls. Because I don't like the fact that they're covered. I've got a few more to lay sort of directly on top, but I want these ones kind of poking out. Otherwise, they're just pointlessly at the bottom. Okay. I think I'm going to have to buy some more tweezers for my eyebrows in future. <laughs> so I've used these a lot today and they are trash. Mind you, I haven't done my eyebrows in ages. So One of the benefits of getting old is you can stop giving a damn. Right, in you go. So, looking at my remaining stockpile of skulls, i.e. none, I guess the skull pile is out of the question. So, uh, the skeleton bits are all from Secret Weapon. No, wrong side, there you go. Secret Weapon. Uh, the same place I got the dungeon from. So this was actually premeditated, this, this cunning ploy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, they're... I can't remember what they cost. They, um, I mean, for me, it's all more expensive. I had to import them from the States. But because I was ordering the dungeon anyway, I figured that's, you know, no harm. Um, if I was doing it normally, then for me, I'd probably choose somewhere in Britain. But as you're from Colorado, Trenton, uh, I would guess Secret Weapons probably as good a place as any. Uh, I don't remember the cost, though. It's either five or eight dollars for a bag. Right. 
so what's going to happen now is this stuff's going to dry just see how yeah um it's obviously not dry yet so uh what's going to happen when i pull this apart they're going to be that's it let's let's do it now on this one okay so there's a little repair to do as i expected there would be that's not so bad and then actually it's still wet so it's, it's being a bit premature and just stick them back there and that should be fine okay let me chuck that one in here Ah, go into thou oh, disaster. Right. Okay. So when it's properly dry, I will turn it upside down, give it a little tap, let them drop off, uh, preferably into a bag, um, and then I will do a second layer. <laughs> I haven't got enough bits for a second layer. Tell you what, let's make some space. And put in some larger pieces. Got a rib cage in there. No, I can't. Yes, I can. If I pull out a skull. And I can get a rib cage. Not that way up. That way up. Okay. And then I shall add some more skulls on, on top, give it a bit of depth. Then these other bits will go on top. I'm going to add that rib cage too. I'm going to do it on this one so it's with this because it doesn't make sense to. Well, it makes sense to put it with the spine. These are all loose ones on top anyway. Um, I'm just kind of gutted. I'm not going to be able to make my... I wanted to do like a pillar of skulls. And there's just, uh, there's just no way. I haven't got anywhere near enough. Now, maybe once I've made my moulds, hopefully... I'll be able to um, salvage some of these skulls and use them again for other bits. And maybe I can do my skull piles then. Yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of loose ones on top here, so... I shall be able to do my second layer. Uh, and I've got I've got a whole ex uh, two more skeletons I can drop in on the second layer as well. So uh, I should have enough for these three bits. Beyond that, I'm afraid it's not going to be. That's it. I'm not going to be able to do the other bits I was hoping to make. Uh, I can't think of anything else I can do. Now, I do have some... Oh, nearly. I do have some crystals here. I do, I'll do close-ups in a second. Let me just get these uh, these little skeleton bits to safety. I'll do close-ups on what I've done. And then I'll show you these crystals. And then maybe you guys can think of something to do with them. Because I bought them, uh, just one of them, one bag of them, just to see what they were like because I had notions of using them in another project and they're too small for that so get them out I'll stand a few up here and then I'm going to get the camera down and we'll get close-ups on the bits and you can see these crystals again they're from secret weapon 
Right. Extreme close-up time. I get more cable. Right. Um, right. Where's the one I just did? That's that one. Oh, focus. Come on, focus. Focus. No. Okay. It's trying to focus. Honest. Um, so anyway, there's that one. And then, yeah, I've got these little tiny crystals. I don't know what to do with them now. So I thought they'd be, like, much bigger. <laughs> and, well, they weren't. So, I don't... I, I think what I might do is just, like, just get the bigger ones, add a little bit of dry brush and stuff, and just use them as a scenery piece. But, uh... I don't know. I can't. I, I'm certainly not going to be able to build what I was originally going to build, which was a crystal cabin. I thought I'd just get the one back, see what they're like, and if they're good, I'll order more. But no, I'm too small. Um, that was an idea that actually came to me when I was I was off. Um, I was in Holland actually, and I was in this little sort of Wiccan type shop and found all these sort of healing crystals and stuff <laughs> allegedly. Um, they don't heal you. Uh, but what, I was looking at these things and thinking, they might not heal me, but they could make a really good dungeon if I don't pay the um, healing crystal markup on them. So uh, that that's what I was thinking. But um, yeah, they're too small. I shall find another way to do that project. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, I'm going to dry my or clean my brush and. I'm afraid we'll have to come back to this when the PVA is dried. The PVA takes a long time to dry, so uh, that'll be the end of the stream for now. Uh, but thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gave you some ideas. And in a video coming up the next day or so, we should see how these turned out. Maybe I'll, I'll probably live stream doing the second layer tomorrow, and then, um, and then in the well, it's going to take me a while to get some silicon to make the bolts. It'd be a while too. You see them all casted up and, and duplicate and stuff, but you should be able to see the masters and stuff, um, hopefully tomorrow. So yeah, anyway, bye for now.